Our friends over at Colorfront built this tool called Express Dailies, and it's actually really cool. It's probably the fastest and most flexible daily solution out there. Even if you don't have time code or if you have lots of audio in different sources, Colorfront can sync whatever you throw at it. Quick demo. A lot of Express Dailies is gesture-based, so my UI can come and go as I please. I can quickly adjust my color and instantly sync up the sound. I can use a couple clicks to find the sync point and slip it with quarter frame accuracy. I can customize my window burn options for all sorts of metadata. I can create my own extraction or letterboxing or reframing choices. I can also add a watermark and in my deliver tab, I can select several items to export and change the color or overlays per item. And all of these render in parallel. Express Dailies now also has cloud integration with Frame.io, which makes it the world's first truly cloud-to-cloud -cloud dailies system. That means Camera to Cloud H.264 proxies can go directly from the camera into Frame.io and into Colorfront while remaining in the cloud the entire time. You don't have to download anything to start working with dailies. It also means that while production is still shooting, you can already be syncing, grading, reframing, burning in time code, et cetera, et cetera. So the question is, do you render those dailies right to editorial or relink them with OCF to create hero dailies? Whichever workflow you choose, this ability to create lab quality dailies and send them to Frame.io quickly is a totally new way for editorial to get moving fast. And if you're using Avid, it has some restrictions with relinking, so you'll want to have a hero dailies workflow. Hero dailies are dailies generated from the original camera files and processed to DNX HD or DNX HR. In this case, you can still save a lot of time by creating the proxy dailies immediately. So you apply LUTs, CDLs, watermarks, and then when you eventually get to the OCF, you can relink those to the proxies and render from there. Your project setup is already done, and now it's just a dailies render. Remember, the proxies from Frame.io have the same time code and clip name, so we can relink to the OCF and output the hero dailies and deliver to DNX to Avid. But first, in order to ensure your hero dailies made in Express Dailies will work with Frame.io's C2C workflow, the generated files from Colorfront need to match the camera to cloud proxies as closely as possible. So here's that process. First, under encode in the preferences menu, set output tape name to file name. Next, make sure the file name of the dailies matches the original camera clip by using the clip name wildcard in editorial render path under the paths menu in preferences. You can use the same settings as your typical workflow for the rest of the process. Here's a bunch of clips loaded from the cloud that are synced and ready to be turned into dailies. I've got a clean Avid and a watermarked H.264 and H.265 all ready to go. And now I need to set a destination for where I want these dailies to go. Remember, Express Dailies is running in the cloud, so I can set up a cloud-to-cloud -cloud render here. To do that, I go to Cloud in the Preferences menu and find the Frame.io section. Enter the path to the destination folder under Render Path. You can use the same wildcards you would use when you're setting up local outputs. Then, under the Out tab in your HUD, configure the web output to use Frame.io. With 5G becoming more commonplace, soon you'll be able to send OCFs directly into the cloud and generate hero dailies, or even work with the high-resolution originals from camera all the way through delivery. And AI color correction will allow you to input reference frames that the software will use to grade your footage automatically. But until then, this workflow is the future, and it's gonna save you a lot of time. Each major NLE has its own recommended workflow for editing with proxies, whether they're generated from the camera, from the Teradek cube, or are dailies from a dailies app or a lab. So over the next four episodes, I'm gonna take you through the specific NLE workflows for Avid, Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, and DaVinci Resolve.